Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day. In today's video is going to be our makeup subscription box unboxing video for you. We're doing a double makeup box subscription box unboxing box 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 video for you today. So today we're doing the Bijou makeup box. It's not a box, it's a bag this month, but you know what I'm saying. For uh, September 2019, which is this month and it's so close to October. I'm just waiting for it to be October. We also have the September box for Medusa's makeup, which is all cruelty free and vegan products in here. So I'm very excited. These are two of my favorite boxes. When I get a Medusa's box, I'm like, there's be some cute stuff in here. And when I get a Bijou box, I'm like, what kind of cool brands are they getting in here this month? So I'm always really optimistic about both these boxes. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. Alright guys, before we get started, I'll make one of this channel's cruelty free, so it's everything in the Medusa's makeup box. It's also vegan. I've only gotten cruelty free items in the Bijou makeup box so far, so I'm really optimistic about this. So let's start off with this one because it is the big one. I'm used to getting a box, but we got a bag this month, so I'm just going to kind of reach in, feel around. Oh, this is big. And hope for the best, so... Huh? Is this a palette? I've never gotten any... It's a J-Cat Beauty. Okay, it has paper dust on it. I've never gotten anything from J Cat Beauty. I keep hearing people talk about this brand, but I've never tried it. This is the Sunset Boulevard 24 eyeshadow palette. There's something about J Cat Beauty people keep raving about. I don't know what product it is. So there's some kind of product. You guys can let me in the comment section that everyone keeps raving about from J Cat Beauty. But I've never tried this brand, so I don't know what that product is. I can't remember. But let's take a look at the palette because I like getting the full palette. That's awesome. And 24 colors. We never get 24 color eyeshadow palettes. So this is the Sunset Boulevard packaging. It's kind of crap packaging, but I don't really mind as long as like the color scheme is good. And it's a neutral palette. This is very safe. There's a lot of shimmers. So it's exactly half matte, half shimmer, two rows of mattes, two rows of shimmers. This, oh, I just stuck my hand in it. Oh well. This is the palette. Very safe, neutral shape. If you don't have too many eyeshadows, you are getting a lot of colors in here. And for coming in a subscription box, I'm not mad because it's a big palette and I've wanted to try this brand before. Not necessarily a color scheme I'd probably be super, super interested in. But like, I like that it's half matte. I've wanted to try this brand for a while, so I'm glad that's in here. We get a full palette. You never get this big of a palette in a subscription box. That's probably why it's in this bag instead of a box this month too, because it's not going to fit in their normal box. Okay. I got something else. It's a little baggy of sorts so let's see what's in the baggie i'm making a big paper mess everywhere and the cats are gonna run with these things and i'm gonna find them all over the house for the next week <laughs> but let's see what's in here okay so there's a brush in here so this is from medusa's makeup in the bijou box and we also have the medusa's makeup box so this is kind of good we're doing them together so this is a medusa's makeup brush powder brush medusa's makeup and here's the brush with black bristles i'm gonna go ahead and open this up and keep it for myself because it's really cute and then we have from Chensley Cosmetics which is the Suns Out Buns Out palette which is a really cool indie brand it's also cruelty free it's the Glow Doe loose highlighter it looks like glow dust from Chensley Cosmetics I'm loving these indie brands in here so Jcat is an indie brand so is Medusa's makeup and so is Chentilly. I That's what I love about the BG box. We're getting a lot of cool like indie, independently owned brands in here. It's not just like staple crap that a lot of brands have in their boxes. So I'm excited, honestly. I don't know how they pull this off. I'm just going to take a handful of that out of here. Make a mess. And I have someone coming over, so that's going to look great. I have paper all over my apartment. Ooh, what's this next thing? It's from Ofra! I love Ofra. So this is... The Ofra Cleanse It Off Makeup Wipes, 15 Makeup Wipe Pack. We never get makeup wipes in subscription boxes. We always get tons of stupid cleansers. So I'm very excited to have makeup wipes because makeup wipes is something I actually use. I don't need a ton of like face cleansers, but I go through makeup wipes. Like these will be used. So this is from Ofra. I've never tried their makeup wipes before. I'm super excited. They're natural cotton. Oh my gosh. You love your glam, but you also love taking it off. These are lip wipes, so if you have like a liquid lipstick you want to remove, because sometimes I want to look halfway cute, right? So I leave the mess of my makeup on, but I'll take my lipstick off and I'm just going to eat dinner. Like, I'll take the rest of it off later, so I'm excited we get the wipes here. So that's really cool. I'm excited about that one. Let's see if there's anything else in here, because that's, sh I mean, we got a full palace, so there can't be that much in here, right? Oh! We got the card in here for September box. It tells you the brands that are in here. And we also got this from SF Beauty. It's a vegan pop and glow face it pop art face mask. I don't know about the quality of this. And I've never heard of this brand before. 
but I have a huge thing for pop art. I think it's the cutest thing ever. I love this. I don't want to use this because I don't want to rip open the packaging. It's so cute. Look at the back of it. It's cute too. Like, this is what, if the Balm wants to like step up their game, because the Balm is like kind of basic nowadays, like you know what you're getting, and they have like vintage-ish inspired packaging, they should just rebrand into pop art. Balm, I would buy some stuff, you had this cute packaging, but SF Beauty, I've never heard of before, SF Glow, this is just so cute. This is just so cute. I want to see what the face mask looks like. It has like little dots on it and stuff. So, this is cute. Um, this might be my favorite thing just for the packaging alone, even though there's a full palette in here and all that stuff. I just, I love that. And I think that's probably it. Oh no, there's something else in here. It's a sour straw. And another sour straw. Alright, so let's go over everything that we got in the Bijou Beauty Box for September 2019. So we got this cute face mask, which is super, super cute, and I'm not going to get over it. We have a Medusa's Makeup Powder Brush, which is black and gold. We have a loose highlighter from Chinchilly Cosmetics. We also have some Oprah Lip Wipes, which is super pretty. And we have a J-Cat Palette, which is awesome. So overall, really good month. I think everything in here I would actually probably get a lot of use out of. I personally probably wouldn't use the color scheme in the palette, but I know a lot of people are really safe um, and would use color schemes like that, so I think that's pretty good. The loose highlighter, I might try, just because it is really pretty. It's a beautiful color, but I like pressed highlighters. But overall, like I am super excited, and if we're trying new things, this is really good. And this brush is really pretty as well. So let's move on to the Medusa's Makeup Box. Okay, so this is the Medusa's Makeup Box for September 2019. It's really pretty. I just love the packaging for Medusa's Makeup and stuff. I think that's what sucks me and I'm like, it's so cute! And we have a lavender paper in here with a lavender box as well. So this is the card for this month and it also tells you like some information. And I will leave the prices of everything on the screen for you for this box. So let's go ahead and get started with the first thing I've seen here, which is this big thing. And the cutest packaging ever! Look at this cute packaging! So this is an eye makeup remover, it's oil free, and it is a vegan eye makeup remover, which is really cool. But like, look how pretty. Look how pretty. This retails for $12. It's really pretty. I like this a lot. Next up, we get a lot of these actually. So this is a Magma Eye Dust from Medusa's Makeup. It's a Magma Eye Dust. It's a red color. I'm getting a lot of these lately. I'm just kind of getting used to getting them in here. But they always have unique colors. They're never the same color. So this retails for $8. Now, I feel like I'm going really fast to this box. And I don't mean to. But the big thing was the eye makeup remover. So the next thing in here is from Lovebird. Which is like their sister company, I believe, to Medusa Makeup. Because we've had something from Lovebird in here before. So this is a tinted lip balm from Lovebird. This is the color it is. It's really cute as well. And this is a new product from them. This retails for $8. And the color is the shade Pucker. And lastly, from Medusa's makeup box this month, we have a eyeshadow which retails for $9. This is a tropical eyeshadow in the shade Bermuda, which is a matte black. Really pretty. I think their eyeshadows, like their individual eyeshadows, are always super cute. I have their blue one as well. They came like the May box, I believe. I can't get it open. It's just a matte black. But it's really pretty and I love the packaging for this. And out of like single eyeshadows, something about the like blue unit this comes in makes me more act like more apt to use it, I guess, if that's the word for it. But yeah, let's go over everything in the Medusa's makeup box. So we got a eyeshadow single, a tinted lip balm, a loose eyeshadow pigment, and a really cool red color, which is gonna be great. Ah! Which is gonna be great for Halloween. And then we got a micellar water. It's not micellar water. It's an eye makeup remover, which looks like micellar water, but you get the idea, and it's oil free as well. So one other thing I got recently in the mail is from Embellashes, Embellishes, Embellashes, Embellishes, which is this little box. We got the lash adhesive and like a lash applying tool and little scissors here, which is really cool. I'm personally really excited to try these. And I think the name is really clever as well. And so this is what I got. It's just, this is the this month's box of lashes for them. They're all really feathery and pretty. I'm excited to try this middle style because I like kind of the flared style. But they're really cute lashes, and there's six pairs in here. So under here, these are the ones I'm excited for. So both of the things in the middle is the ones I really like. But this is this month's box for embellishes, and they're really pretty. I'm excited to try some of these styles, because I kind of stick to the same kind of styles a lot. And I think these are different that I haven't tried before. 
Anyways, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know which one of these three things is your favorite in the comment section down below. For me, it's the Bijou Makeup Box this month. I just think it's a really good variety. I, I love that it's all cruelty-free. I love to get a full-size palette and never really see that. The lip makeup remover is really cool, too, and I'm just excited. So, anyways, thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!